This is a sneaky integral because there's a trick that you might not be expecting. We're going to solve this using integration by parts, which is the most popular method. There's actually a different way to do it, which I prefer, but watch this method and then watch the other way and you can decide which one you like better. Okay, we're going to set u equal to sine of x and du equal to e to the negative x dx. If we take the derivative, du equals cos x dx. If we integrate dv, we get v equals negative e to the negative x. Okay, so if we take this and we'll substitute it into our integration by parts formula to get this. This is our u times v from 0 to infinity. Now let's look at this first term. We're going from 0 to infinity, and this is the limit as x goes to infinity. Well, this first part goes to 0, and the second part, sine of 0, is 0. So this whole term is 0. So that's cool. So our integral becomes, after cancelling these negative signs, e to the negative x cos x. Now, it looks like we didn't do anything. We just exchanged a sign for a cos. But this is the trick. What we're going to do is integration by parts again. And if we plug this into our integration by parts formula, we get u times v from 0 to infinity minus the integral of v du. We'll substitute back what i is right here. We'll put it into here. And if we evaluate this term, we'll get 1. So that gives us this right here. This is our i, the integral, and this is the integral from here. Notice these two are the same. So we'll combine these two terms together to get two of them. We divide by 2, and we get our integral. There is a easier way to get this integral, and I highly recommend checking that out. It's my favorite way. It's a lot quicker. Good luck on your midterms. Good luck on your final exams. Integrals are not easy to learn, but you can survive.